Too much of late in the frown. Not only service your all licensed fool, but other of your insolent retinue do hourly carp and quarrel, breaking forth in rank and not to be endured. Riot, sir. <sighs> I had thought by making this well known unto you to have found a safe redress, but now grow fearful by what yourself too late have spoke and done, that you protect this course and put it on by your allowance, which if you should, the fault would not escape censure, nor the redress sleep which in the tender of a wholesome wheel might in their working do you that offence which else were shame that then necessity will call discreet proceeding are you our daughter oh, come sir I would you make use of that good wisdom whereof I know you are fraught and put away these dispositions that of late transform you from what you rightly are doth any here know me this is not Leah Doth Leah walk thus? Speak thus? Where are his eyes? <laughs> Either his notion weakens, his discernings are lethargied. Ha! <laughs> Waking? Tis not so. Who is it that can tell me who I am? <laughs> Lay's shadow. I should learn that. For by the marks of sovereignty, knowledge and reason, I should false be persuaded I had daughters. Your name, fair gentlewoman? This admiration, sir, is much o'er the saviour of other your new pranks. I do beseech you to understand my purposes aright. As you are old and reverend, you should be wise. Here you do keep a hundred knights and squires, men so disordered, so debauched and bold, that this our court infected with their manners, shows like a riotous inn, epicurism and lust, make it more like a tavern or a brothel than a graced palace. The shame itself doth speak for instant remedy. Be then desired by her that else will take the thing she begs. A little to disquantity your train, and the remainder that shall still depend to be such men that may besought your age and know themselves and you. Darkness and devils. Hey, saddle my horses. Call my train together. Degenerate bastard. I'll not trouble thee, yet have I left a daughter. You strike my people, and your disordered rabble makes servants of their betters. Detesty kite! Thou liest! Go! Go, my people! Daughter, if thou didst intend to ever make this creature fruitful, into her womb convey sterility. Dry up in her the organs of increase, and from her derogatory body never spring forth babe to honour her. If she must teem, create a child of spleen, that it be maybe a thwart, disnatured torment to her. Let it stamp out the wrinkles in her brow of youth, from cadent tears fret channels in her cheeks and turn all her mother's pains and benefits to laughter and contempt that she may feel how sharper than a serpent's tooth it is to have a thankless child. Away! Away! <laughs> <laughs>